the Soviet point. A six to two game. Down low to Derek T. Park. I'm a slam in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the first week of April is a long, long shot. The shot by Gracia. This is the man who on this the 19-year-old, he is the Soviet's best player from Moscow. And it's a 9-8 game on the three. The Soviets have taken the lead. Hurley, teed up for the three-point shot. Should be saying that Hurley, who is maybe the best point guard defender in the league, has greatly improved his shooting, his range, and his percentages. And now the Soviets... And a pop searching out the open man. They send the cutters through, and they get it down to Gracia. Yeah, they had no close games, and the ball players thought they could win whenever the pressure came. But they had no pressure all year. And as soon as Duke put pressure on them in Indianapolis in the semifinals, they collapsed. Fabulous play by Grant Hill, saving the ball. Hurley kicks out. And because I think they're fronting them on the baseline. Leighton has to kind of roam a little bit more outside. I thought he would, playing along with uh, Cherokee uh, Park and so forth. Take the pocket box. Get it back to Bobby Hurley. It's back in the safety pocket box. <laughs> nice baseline move by Grant. Ended up pulling his feet, making a little walk. Here he comes to the baseline. Here comes Grant Hill. Keep his eye up there. No emotion, all confidence. In the national championship game against Kansas, Hurley with the ball had nine assists and just one turnover. Well, he, semifinals and finals. Never came out of the game. Man has a full tank. Good hustle, Grant Hill. Well, Calvin says his son is more focused when he plays. Doesn't get as mostly involved as he used to get when he plays. There comes Hurley on a 10-man break. Lead to Hill. Off the throw to Blakey. As there's a timeout on the floor. And Duke has opened up the biggest lead of the game and nine-point advantage. And the Tomahawk. Here's Bobby Hurley starting a fast break. Guards always get to the middle of the court, gives you two options. Nice, beautiful lead pass up to Grand Hill, and he ends up having... He did. Yeah, hit by a drunk driver. He was jogging at the time. Not all the way back, but they're very pleased with his progress. As Leitner drives hard to the bucket. And so forth, and, so forth. and uh, he says no matter what, Eric has a scholarship for four years at Duke. And I was speaking to the father yesterday, and that depressed the father so much. And for a lot of times in life, he says, you have second cars in the construction business. So this hit the shot to make it a seven-point game again, Duke. As Duke now runs his head and off, and Hurley sees the open lane Ooh. in the basket. Time play there. He, he was flying under the radar here, which he has to because of his size. He clears out with his left hand. All right, with 10 points and three assists. Soviets have trouble hanging the ball. Meek gets it up to Grant Hill on the drive to the basket. Oh, oh, oh. Now, what, what, what Hill does here is he flies in. He sees the opening. He knows now he's on thin ice. That move there. See, now he hangs on to the rim because he's afraid of getting hurt, which is right. And you're allowed to hold on to the rim to save an injury. And that's why there was no technical foul on hold on to the win. <laughs> 40 to 27 Duke. Huh? He's tough. He is a He's a player. There's three-point land. Thank you. Five to 29. Marty Clark down low to Park. I think on his dad's side, there's also uh, some uh, heritage of, of Indian Cherokee Nation. I think so. I'm not sure. Well, so it comes back to within 12. 
Coach K does not want to let the Soviet Union get back in the game. He told me yesterday that if he could beat them by seven. Virtually no supplies. Instead. Benesoff on the drive, and here comes Grant Hill the other way. Lead down low, and the low goes, and Kenny Lakeney gets two and go. Excellent pass here at the end. Watch Grant Hill catch Blakeney on the left there. Was fortunate the ball went in. He kissed it off the glass too low, and it cried in. It almost oh, yeah. The terrific program to be around as you look at the leading scores. Early leads the way with 11 for the Blue Jays. the ball, Bobby Hurley's hand. He's got inside position. Put the block to Christian Layton to get down low in the post. Christian wants the ball. It should get him Hill right now. Grant Hill, believe it or not. Because when I was coaching 60 teams and recruiting, when Coach Wooden and them were coaching maybe 30, today there's 160 teams out there trying to get talent and trying to get to the happy land of the Final Four. Layton strokes a three-point attempt, rebound to Park. It's a turnover. Here's Leighton, watch, let's watch him. If a person jumps in the air, over see which foot he lands on, you can tell the other foot is hurt. No, 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 he, he's not 100%. Let's see where he took that step. Nice inside position for Lob Pass there. There's the Lob, called it, Coach. Hey, the ever Park. Hey, this is Jericho Park. He just <laughs> got ah, oh, outstanding. Now here comes the alley loop into Christian. Nice position. He misses the chippy. Watch Parks get position on the weak side. He has a nose for rebound, a nose for the ball. Weak side to side, away from the ball, and then at the other end, Cherokee with a you right. Teach defense, you teach defense, you can't teach offense. And you can't coach both ways. You have to be committed to defense or offense, one or the other. Through the first four minutes of the second half, Cherokee Parks, the freshman, had four rebounds. That's one more than the Soviet team had. All-time leader in assists. And the person that has the record right now is Tommy Amica, the assistant coach. Three, UNLV in that semifinal game was up by five with less than two minutes to go. Hurley came down and stroked a three. Just like that, same spot on the floor. Right on two. There's a mirror for you. Now, I thought the biggest shot in, in Duke history. Because the uniforms were died now. Here's a... Give off from Hurley to Layton and uh, Soviets really fight in that lane. They protect the paint. Down court. Oh, surprise. Happy. A little bit more time setting their offense, and they're working with Grant Hill at the point, giving him some work there. Is the 6 8 point. Playing eight. position on the floor. Six, eight points off. Whoa, reminds you of Magic Johnson. <laughs> Dad wants to see it again, too. Here's the move into the middle, commits to the air. Flies like a condor, finishes it off. Someday his number will be retired, along with Christian Leighton's number. There's four or five other ones up there, the G-Man and um, Danny Ferry, and uh, who am I talking is up there. Art Heyman. Uh, oh, the throat, throat. Too. Marty Clark in the game. Early, so quick with the ball, then pulls up and Stroke pitches the sharpshooter, but he's not been today. Gracia. Rebound to Grant Hill, Grachev, shooting one for seven today for the Soviets. And Hurley flies to the basket, holding it up. A lot of Magic Johnson fans down here in Durham as they rebound on the Parks, and he gets it out to Blakeney. Well, what I meant on the best competitor, in my opinion, was Larry Bird. <laughs> for the point, where he did wondrous things the last time he was there, driving the lane and stuffing. Christian Lane is not at 100% with that foot. Half strained his right foot when he was fouled uh, late in the second half. First okay. half. Now watch your right foot. Right, watch him land. Now watch him running back. See, see that? See him lifting in? But he's a senior. He should be able to tell whether he can play or not to the trainer. A thousand to nothing right here. Okay, at Duke University, the defending national champion Blue Devils who return four starters and four letter winners off the bench plus a brilliant freshman pass. Their lead to 84 to 66. 
Here's the pass from Bobby Hurley. Picture beautiful. I was only a kid then. The last 28 years I've lived in Wisconsin. Hey, it's hunting week in Wisconsin. We will, they will uh, clear the herd out of 380,000 deer. Smooth Stoker is now up to 21 points, and you see his field goal. From uh, Georgia Tech, Thomas Burrow from Virginia, Donald Williams from North Carolina, and Travis Best from Georgia Tech. All freshman team, and there's the freshman player. You know what? If his mom and dad don't want me calling him Chief, I'll call him Cherokee. I'll call him anything he wants. Gresham's out of here. Here's the leading score of 21. You see, he's a 70 for Al McGuire. This is Don Crickey.